In the last couple of videos, you might've noticed that we went from forms to issues in Jira's left side menu. And in this video, we'll fill in that gap by learning about goals. Before we do that, let me change, fix this typo here, because that's bothering me. And we can head on over to goals. Goals are basically a central place where you can see a bigger picture of how the work is helping to hit that goal. Now, before we start, as I'm recording this, goals are in beta. They're not even available for everyone yet. And to be upfront, I have no idea when Atlassian will roll them out, but I wanted to make sure that we touch on them so you're a little more familiar with them for whenever your Jira instance gets access. So to create a goal right now, we actually have to go outside of Jira and go into a place called Atlassian Home. And then we can come in and create a goal, either using this or using the create button up here at the top. And since this is for a podcast app, let's say the goal is to publish the podcast app in the app store. We can select a target date, go ahead and create that. So now that we have a goal created, you'll notice that we have this whole other interface where we can link issues, projects, and things from inside Jira to the goal. So maybe we have a project to get the app designed, uh, another for the dev team to build the functionality, and then we can tie together the epics from different projects to the goal as a way of tracking it all, sharing updates across all the teams and so on. And here's where it can get really confusing because goals is outside of Jira right now. So when you see it talking about a project, it's not talking about the team managed project that we just created. This is a completely different project. And we can see this, this project created in Atlassian Home. If we create this project and then head back over to Jira and look at all projects, it doesn't show up anywhere because it's not actually a Jira project. And that's where it can start to get to be a little bit confusing. Now, one of the things we can do in our team managed project is to link issues to the goal. And that's really the primary reason why we see them in our menu in the team managed project. So if we were to go into one of these issues, we can see we need to actually add that field. I don't think we've added that yet. No, we haven't added the goals field. So let's add the goals field to the story issue type. And then if we go back, now we'll see the goals. We can pin that so it's a little bit easier to see. And we can look for that goal that we just created. There we go. So we have that added. And then over here in Atlassian Home, we can go to Jira to see what issues are currently contributing to this goal, to achieving this goal. So as you can see, at the end of the day, goals are just another way of being able to track our work. Okay, so to recap, in this video, we learned that goals aren't really a part of team managed projects or even company managed projects or even Jira itself, if you think about it, since it takes us out of Jira to access them, but they are in beta. So I really hope that Atlassian will start to integrate them better. And now you've got a better idea of what goals are and how they work. And I encourage you to play with goals between videos to see if maybe there's something that your team can use or Maybe by the time you're watching this, Atlassian has started to integrate them a little bit better. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.